I'm a a diva. I'm a 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 I'm a. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a grocery haul. This will be my first one. I'm just gonna show you guys what I bought. Uh, where I bought it from and I'll let you know how much I spend. I have everything set up right here So yeah. I'm just gonna get the camera Set up somewhere over there to make it a better view of everything and then we're gonna get started All right, so I had to go to two different stores for Everything that I needed because one store that I go to which is shoppers They do not um, have fresh meat so I had to get the meat from Food Lion and everything else came from shoppers I actually did get a few other things from Food Lion as well but most of it was meat um, so the first thing I got is Minute Maid Berry Punch and Fruit Punch and cherry limeade, it's three for five dollars. So I got three. I don't really drink juice. The kids, most of the two older kids drink it, so that's why I got that. Um, I also got some, I'm actually gonna move some of this stuff out of the way as we go to make it easier. And I got some honeycombs. One one at cereal and one one at Pop Tarts. So I got cereal and Pop Tarts, chocolate fudge Pop Tarts, and honeycomb cereal. Hey, don't pull my hair. And then I got some tomatoes. These tomatoes came from Food Lion. I got three of those. And I got some. Bold mix, little small chips, 18 bags. These I do have to keep in my bedroom because if I don't, in the closet actually, if I don't, they'll be gone real quick. So I got those at Shoppers. And I got a bag of red delicious apples. And I got those from Food Lion. You know, you have to eat dinner, you can't go with it now. Okay, and then um, I got a few snacks because for the baby, she likes some uh, snacks and I really don't like to give her chips or anything. Although I do, you know, let her taste them. But I got some goldfish, cheddar, and she's looking at them, she wants some. I also got some broccoli, and I got this broccoli from Shoppers. I just got some fresh one, and I did get a couple frozen one bags also, but there's the fresh one. And then I got some asparagus, and these are going to be used with sides, because I got like some chicken and some fish, so we'll have asparagus one night and broccoli another night. And... I got a bag of red kidney beans for when I make chili. I got some albacore tuna, solid white. And I got two of those because we do eat a lot of tuna in this house. So I got two. And I got these. We tried these before and they were really good. So I just got two packages of lean pockets. Chicken jalapeno cheese, and I got a container of dull tropical fruit. These are really good. Normally, I don't like to get stuff in a can, or this is actually like a bottle. I don't like to get it like fresh fruit. Oh, I like getting fresh fruit better, but these actually are really good, and it's in 100% juice, so they're not too bad. I got some. Iceberg Garden Salad Bag, Angel Hair Pasta for Spaghetti. I already got another one in the 
in the cabinet from last month, so I don't need to buy too many. And I got two containers of Prego tomato basil garlic. That's pretty much the only kind that we like to use here. And then I got some lemon pepper seasoning because that's what we like on our broccoli. When I make broccoli, I just got some hot sauce, Texas Pete. Ranch, Naima can't live without a ranch. And I meant to get the, the light one or the fat free one, but I forgot so I wasn't paying attention. I got some Louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry because I'm going to be frying fish one of these days. Tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes. Because when I make chili, if I make it for like Adults that I put crushed tomatoes and a little bit of tomato sauce, but if I make it for the kids I only can use the sauce. So I got both. I got some sweet corn. I also got some This I want the baby to try this healthy Healthy greens by V8 I had it before and I really like it, so I'm going to see if she like it. It's just green juice. It has yellow carrots, apples, pineapples, cucumber, celery, kale, romaine, spinach, and green bell pepper. And it's really good. And I got some vegetable oil for when I fry fish. And I got some green onions. I also got some... 100% whole wheat bread. This bread was supposed to go on wick. This is the one they offer for wick, which I had, but I didn't do my wick card before the transaction, so it did not go on wick, so I still have to go and get some loaves of bread later on. And I also got some hot dog buns for the hot links. This bread is gonna be for the sandwiches, because I got some lunch meat. And this bread is going to be for my sandwiches. It's um, onion hamburger buns. I like to use that on my sandwiches. So let me go ahead and move on to the meat. And I'll be back. Alright, so for the meat portion. Actually, I do got some other vegetables. And I'll get to the meat. So I got some frozen broccoli. Along with the fresh broccoli that I showed you guys already. I got these two frozen bags. And then I got um, some two frozen bags of corn. So I got some fresh corn, some frozen corn, some fresh broccoli, some frozen broccoli. And I got these Johnsonville Grillers Steakhouse Onion Seasoned. So they're already seasoned. I tasted these before. And they're really good. It has a good flavor. Normally, I like to make my own patties and put the, put the seasoning, but um, these are okay for if you're trying to do something quick, you know. Yeah, I got some. And hot links. My son likes hot links, so I got those. And uh, for the spaghetti, I got these two rolls of ground beef. And I only like to get the 80-20. If I have to get any other kind, I will, but I like the 80-20. And um, I got these from Food Lion. And I wanted to get the kind that comes in a package. I think it's two pounds, two slabs. But they didn't have any. They were completely sold out and they were very limited. So I got these. It was fine. I also got some <coughs> chicken breasts tenders and I got two of those these are from food line as well this one was $7.83 and this one was $9.89 those will go in the freezer because I got the um, asparagus and the broccoli so that'll be eaten with the chicken and then I got some Tilapia fillets. I'm gonna be frying most of this. And then I'll leave some to bake on a different day. And then I got some cooked shrimp, peeled and divined, peeled and deveined, tail on. And I don't remember how much the 
this was. I had it on my receipt. But I also got a um, 32 pack. You guys see, yeah, you guys can see. 32 pack of Aquafina water. And um, let me see, I think I got something else that was meat related. And then I got some cheese for the sandwiches, honey, ham, this is more like a snack. combo pack, Kobe Jack, the turkey sticks, and then I got two of these, the ground turkey, Genio, and that'll be probably for the chili because sometimes I like to use ground turkey instead of ground beef. It's healthier that way. And then I got a whole bunch of Gerber products over here. So my baby still likes baby food. Well, she's only one. She just turned one on December 18th. Hey, hey, no. She just turned one on December 18th. So... She's still eating the baby food. She likes the kiss. She doesn't like too many different kinds. She sticks to the same thing. She really likes the carrots and bananas. She'll take the pears, so I got those. I got some prune apple because sometimes her, her digestive gets a little, you know, so I have to give her the apple prune to help her out. And then the apple prune juice. I got that too because that works for constipation. And she really likes these fruit and veggie, uh, what are they? Fruit and veggie melts. They kind of melt in the baby's mouth, but they're dried fruit. It's a mixture. It's like apple, banana, pineapple type tropical blend. And I decided to get this for her to try for breakfast. It's bananas and cream cereal, hot cereal. And I only got one because I don't know if she's going to like that. And then I got a whole bunch of more baby food back there, as you can see. And I got some Gerber mixed fruit juice. She loves that one. That's the tropical blend. And then I got some banana yogurt. She just had one of those when I got back from the store. And she likes that. That's my first time buying that. And then let's go around to the other side. Uh... Yeah, just the same kind, apple prune, and she really likes this banana orange medley. I notice everything that's like tropical and that banana orange stuff and pineapple, she really likes. So I got a few of those. And then I got this Hawaiian Delight. I don't think she tried that one yet, so she'll try that. And I think I showed you guys pretty much everything. So some of this food paid for let me turn you guys around <clears throat> so some of this food was paid for by food stamps and some of it was paid for by cash I have Wiccan food stamps I'm not ashamed to say you know some people qualify for it and some people don't me I qualify for it I work every day and I still qualify for it so me I'm going to go ahead and use the help the help is there and I go ahead and take the help and um, I don't make a lot of money. Um, my my monthly expenses is actually more more than what I make, so I qualify. And don't ask me how I make it work, how I get by. You know, I'll give all the the glory to God because He does it. And, don't like when people share whether they're on food stamps or not I mean if you don't share it people are gonna assume many ways if you do share it they're gonna you know say find something to say about it they say they pay taxes for you if you're on food stamps and whatnot but yeah I work every day and it's still not enough I qualify I get it it helps it's not much but the much that it is it helps and I'm thankful for what I get 
and I'll look forward to the day when I won't have to use it anymore. I'm not in any way using the system or anything like that. And um, yeah, I would love to be off of it one day. That's one of my goals. So yeah, that's that. As long as the food was paid for and my kids are fed, that's all that matters. So um, yeah, that's all I wanted to do was share my grocery haul with you guys. Look forward to more of these on the channel. And I know there's something else I wanted to say, but I don't want to. Oh, I wanted to, where's my receipts? I wanted to tell you guys how much I spent on this. Like I said, I went to two different stores. I went to Shoppers, and at Shoppers I spent like $188 and some change. And then I went to Food Line and I spent about $74 and some change. So we spent like $262 and some change on all of this. So that wasn't bad. Um, if they're gonna cut food stamps, well, if they're gonna give me food stamps for, for um, February early, that means that what I have now for January is not going to roll over. They're not going to um they're not going to let me keep what I have now for January and then, you know, merge it with February. They're going to wipe it out and start clean for what they put on it for February. So if they're saying that they're going to give people on food stamps their money by by January 20th or before then that means I have to go ahead and stock up and put things in the freezer and plan meals and things like that because what I have for January is going to have to be used. Mind, mind you I just got my food stamps for January so this is basically like my first trip to the store so um, yeah we don't get our food stamps on the first here in Maryland so it depends on the, the first two letters of your last name or something like that and Mines is pretty is pretty much in the middle, so I have to wait a couple weeks before I get it. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.